Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am traveling to Japan next week, so I am packing tonight and I just thought I would make a quick outfit video for you guys. So this video really is all about the comfy basics that you can mix and match with. My first look here is a Miu Miu top and a Miu Miu skirt. It is the cutest thing ever and this reminds me of my uniform days. So back in primary school we would just wear uniforms and even up to like high school we were just wearing uniforms and this one really really reminded me of my primary school days. I would wear like pinafore and then it had like pleats like this skirt here. So I really love this matching set from Miu Miu. I think it's really cute, very girly, very flirty at the same time. But then I also really love how this is very casual as well. So when I paired this with jeans, I think this top would be really nice for spring. It is also the perfect shade of denim for spring because of its lighter shade of blue. So very, very excited to wear this in Japan. This next look here is the same Miu Miu denim top paired with these white jeans from Generica and then I have my white Chanel flap here and I think this is a very spring to summer perfect like sweater weather outfit. So for my shoes, I'm going with these same Chanel denim ballet flats. This is my outfit. All right, my next look here is a very neutral base and I love wearing this because it's so comfortable. My pants are newly bought from Vancouver when I went to Aritzia there. It's a lot cheaper because it is actually the same price as the one here, but it doesn't really convert to USD. So it's like 160 Canadian and also 160 USD insane so i feel like i got a 30 percent discount when i shopped in the aritzia in vancouver anyways these pants are beautiful on i love the fit of it and it's so comfy so this is definitely something that i can wear on the go when i'm in japan and for my top i have this boosty top from magda bertum very very figure hug hugging and also is very casual. So the weather there is gonna be kind of like AC weather. So it'd be like 25 degrees, but it can also get cold at night and it can go down to like 16 degrees. So that's why I'm gonna be bringing in this cardigan here because it keeps me really warm and cozy. And also, since I am also traveling with my parents, I don't want them to be complaining at how um, exposed I am with this bustier top so I'm just gonna cover up with this over here. Here incorporates the same bustier top from Magda Burton in the previous outfit. So this one here I just popped on my Celine cardigan. I love wearing this as a scarf and it also functions as a double duty as a real cardigan when it gets too cold at night. So on my bottoms, I am wearing these Generica jeans. And then for my shoes, I'm going with these Oran sandals. They're really comfy to walk in. However, I think I might be opting for sneakers depending on how the day is going and if I'm gonna be walking a lot. So yeah, whenever I'm traveling, I love bringing my basics with me because I can actually wear a lot of outfits with the limited amount of space that I have. And I'm also not gonna be bringing a lot of accessories. So I have to be very calculative with which one I'm packing and which one I'm not. I also don't wanna be bringing anything that is too precious or expensive because I don't want to be stressing about it um, during my holiday. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Very easy, very comfy, and comfort is key when I am packing for my travel outfits too. Okay, so this next look here incorporates my favorite Kate black top. Talk about basics. This is something that I would wear all the time on my holidays. I love packing this with me because whenever I feel really bloated when I'm eating too much, it just sucks everything in and it just makes me look bloop, like skinny again. So 
I love pairing this with a beautiful floral skirt like this one here. And I feel like when I went to Japan last time, everybody was wearing a lot of muted colors. So I do want to blend in a little bit with the crowd just in case, you know, I don't want to look like a tourist all the time and I don't want to be a target to people who are I mean, I feel like Japan is very safe anyways, but it's always best to be on the safer side and just kind of blend in with the crowd rather than stand out too much. So I am wearing this skirt from Erdem. This was my favorite piece to wear all summer last year, so I can't wait to wear this one out. And I think I will wear this on more of the warmer days and if I'm too cold, I would probably just pop on a cardigan. So I, can't, I haven't decided which cardigan would go with this yet, but um, I will go through my what I've already packed. Maybe the Kate Brown cardigan can go with this, but that is... Um, or maybe... I don't know, maybe cardigan is not a thing for this look because I feel like it would just make this look very grandma-ish. So I think if I were to wear this, I will either freeze or just choose a warmer day to wear this outfit for. This next look here involves the same cake black top, the cardigan that I've already showed you guys before, and also these blue jeans as I've also worn before. So I'm just showing how you guys can just mix and match things together. And then, for my accessories, I'm just gonna go with the white Chanel again. And I think it's a really cute classic look. Very easy to wear. Super simple to put on as well. No need to overthink an outfit, especially when you're just gonna be like going out casually anyways. So I love this combination. Super, super chic. This next look here incorporates the same blue jeans as before. It's so versatile, I can create so many looks out of this. And then underneath, I am wearing a silk cami from Chanel. And then on top, I have my pink cardigan from Celine. And this will keep me really comfortable. If it gets too warm, I can remove the cardigan, have a tank top on, very easy breezy. This cardigan is super cute and also I wanted to bring this cardigan because I have a bag waiting for me in Japan. So I am kind of packing with that bag in mind. Um, but this bag here, this little mini Jodi is also really cute. I'm definitely going to bring this as well because it's really easy to pack. I don't have to worry about it. It's also like very squishable, so I can pack it down really easy. All right, this next look here is a really pretty dress. I've only decided to bring this long dress here because I am going to a flower festival and it would be just and it would be gorgeous views of Mount Fuji at, at, in the background. So the flowers are pink and I'm thinking maybe this blue dress would be really gorgeous for that location. And I can get some really gorgeous photos for Instagram as well. So yeah, this is the dress. I got this from Matches Fashion during the sale in the winter time and it will be my first time wearing it out so I'm really excited and I love this color of blue the daisy print is really cute as well it's perfect for the uh, flower field that I'm planning on going all right this next dress here is a possibly a maybe in terms of what I might wear to the flower field it'll depend on how I feel that day because this dress although is gorgeous. I find that this like off the shoulder detail is a little bit of a hassle when I am like going on the train. If we are going to be taking the Shinkansen from Tokyo and I have to like take my ticket out, my JR pass out, I don't know how my hands can like move freely in. So this is a little bit of a restricted dress but I just like to pack like a little bit extra I love to bring pretty dresses, especially when I'm going into like a really nice location because I love getting my shots in. But I was also thinking that maybe this would be a great dress to wear during the sunrise when we go see Mount Fuji when the sun is rising. Um, 
because I booked a hotel that's really close to the sunrise area. So maybe this could be like a photo shoot outfit and then I can change into something comfortable when we are taking the Shinkansen back to Tokyo. So this is just my thought process, my little rant here. It's a beautiful dress and I have not worn it out yet since I got it in two months ago. So I'm really, really itching my fingers here and I really, really want to wear it out. So yeah, maybe it would just be worth it to just pack it into my bag and see if I can get any photos with it. So this last part, this last part of, the, of this video is a little bit different from what are the, what the few outfits I had in mind in the beginning of this video. Just hear me out. So I feel like I have two sides of my style. One is the like prim and proper, like a little bit of like office wear inspired and something that is like more, it's like casual, but not super casual. I like it to be slightly elevated, a little bit classy, a little bit like, you know, put together. And then I have my whimsical side with my dresses and I just feel so good when I put on a beautiful dress. So this here is an example of a dress that I feel amazing in. This one is Agua by Agua Bonita and the one thing that I really do not enjoy about this is that it kind of like is a little bit off the shoulder and I have to keep pulling it up, but it's a really beautiful photo shoot dress, especially for this location that I have in mind. It's the bamboo forest in Kyoto. So I don't know if we will have time to go to the bamboo forest, but I will try to squeeze in some time. Gabriel would not be happy because he doesn't really want it to be such a like rushed holiday. He wants it to take a chill. But you know what? For me, I want to get my content so I will make him get there to the bamboo forest so that I can get my photos. So the reason why I think that this um, dress would be really gorgeous for the bamboo forest is because of the green florals here and the yellow undertone would be really beautiful against the green backdrop. So yeah, this is going to be a really gorgeous photo shoot location. Definitely not something that I would wear on the Shinkansen. So that's why I have that first part of the first few outfits that I put together are really comfortable and really easy for me to sit down and also like maybe unbutton my, my zipper a little bit, you know, when, when I am on the Shinkansen for like four hours. So yeah, this is definitely not something I'll wear on the train but a beautiful dress nevertheless. All right, we've come to the end of this video. Let me know which was your favorite look below. And if you like this video, I will put more outfit videos linked up above for you guys here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.